Okay, so this one you have 25 random sample of size 25. It already mentioned to you is your n is equals to 25. So you will have a normal distribution mean theta variance 100. So you want to find a uniformly most powerful critical region of size alpha for testing H0 theta equals to 75 against alternative theta greater than 75. So first, when you read the question, so please make sure which theta, okay, which is your unknown parameter theta. So in this case, your unknown parameter theta is your mean, okay. So your variance sigma square is equals to 100 is given. So that means k sigma square is known. So we want to test uh, one-sided test. Eh? Now theta equals to 75 against alternative theta greater than 75. So you want to find a uniformly most powerful critical region given your alpha is 0 0.1. So that means once we give you alpha, so that means you can find the value of C. Okay. If we didn't give you the value for alpha, you cannot find value of C. So C is just a constant value. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the same example, the same approach that we use, let's say we have theta prime. Okay. So let's say theta prime be theta greater than 75. Okay. So we just write down, let theta prime be theta greater than 75. And then in your step, in your procedure, please write this one. Please write this sentence. So I can understand the step that you've written. Okay. So take the likelihood function, the same thing. Theta equals to 75. Theta prime. Substitute in your normal density function. So you have to know what is your normal density function. Okay. Uh, just because the formula is given, so we just substitute. Make sure you correctly substitute. Okay. So we have the exponential negative summation SI minus 75 square over 2 times your sigma square given is 100. Any okay, this one is already simplified. Lah, okay? So since we can cancel out this one, so it just left with you the second part. Okay, so you have 75 and also theta prime. The same approach. Okay, so you have exponential negative summation SI minus 75 square over 200 plus exponential. Okay, because we already take um, the numerator. So, plus exponential summation is i minus theta prime square over 2 times 100. Okay, again, set the step. Simplify again. Simplify, expand the formula. Okay. So, make sure you correctly expand the formula. Okay, you have minus summation is i square plus 150, 75 times 2, summation is i. Okay, 75 square. So, you have summation. So, that's why we have term n. So, plus summation SI square. So, minus 2 theta prime summation SI. So, theta prime square. So, you have N theta prime square. Okay, next step. Let K denote the positive number. So, let K denote the positive number because you want to write down less than or equals to some value of K. Okay. So, next, kita simplify. We simplify. So, we take summation SI. So, you have 150 minus 2 theta prime summation SI. You have your N term. So, theta double sorry, 5625 okay, minus theta prime. Okay, that's depend on your arrangement. Yeah? So divide by 2 times 100, less than equals to K. So now, the third step, you take ln on the both sides. Okay, so you cancel out exponential. So that's mean you need to take ln. You take ln. So it becomes this equation. Okay. Okay, so again, we already simplified this one. So 2 times 100. So 200 ln k plus n5625 minus theta prime square over 150 minus 2 theta prime. So this one I said equals to c. Okay, so again, your alternative is theta greater than 75. Okay, so this one, when I check the critical region, I, I get... Summation xi less than or equals to c. Okay, this depends on the way how you want to manipulate, put the minus in front or whatever lah. Eh? So, but c is, or you can write, if you get summation xi less than or equals to c, it's not wrong, it's correct, but you need to write some sentence justification here. Okay, so since theta prime greater than theta, 
So hence the best critical region C is given as summation Xi greater or equals to C. Okay. So that's mean the best critical region for this testing hypothesis when you want to test theta greater than 75 is given as summation Xi greater or equals to C. Okay. Just manipulate here je. Kecuali, except you already modify something, you put negative in front, let's say, okay, let's say you have negative 2 theta prime minus 150 and so on, you can manipulate this one, bring all negative, you already get some HSI greater equal to equals to C, so that is correct. Okay, so you don't have to write this sentence. But if you put like this, so that means you will get some HSI less equal to C, so write a sentence to justify your answer. So since we want to test theta prime greater than theta, so then the best critical region C is given as summation Si greater or equals to C. Okay. So that is to complete the first step. You want to find the best critical region is given as summation Xi greater or equals to C. Okay. Now, so the same thing you can write down X bar greater or equals to C. So because normally this one is normal distribution, we use X bar. Okay. Because we already have the value for N. Okay, so at alpha equals to 0 0.1, you want to have probability summation xi greater equals to c given your h naught is equals to 0 0.1. So please write this one. Okay, in your step procedure, write. Apa maksud alpha? What is your definition for alpha? Probability of rejecting h naught, which is summation xi greater equals to c, given your h naught is true, is equals to 0 0.1. Your h naught is true, that means your theta is equals to 75. So standardized, so x bar minus theta square root your sigma square over n. So greater equals to c minus 75, your true parameter, square root 100 over, to, over 25, which is square root 4. So equals to 0 0.1. So now you use your set table, find the value for your z alpha. So let's say alpha 0 0.1. Okay, so we will have 1.2816. So solve for c. So you only reject H0 if your X bar is greater or equals to 77.5623. So that is your answer. Because we already give you the value of alpha. If we didn't give you the value of alpha, so that means you just stop here. Okay? But if we give you the value of alpha, so that means we want you to solve that question until you get the value for C. Yeah. So let's say, um, uh, add the question. What can you say about, uh, let's say, you have the true, uh, you have your alternative theta is equal to 75. Is it you reject your H0 or you accept your H0? So in this case, since, since our theta is equal to 78, so you can say that we will reject H0 since your critical region is just 77.5. So your X bar, sorry lah, bukan theta lah. Okay, you check x bar lah. Okay. If you give your x bar is equal to 78, so that's mean we will reject H0 since your x bar is greater or equal to 77.56. So reject H0. So that is your conclusion. Okay, so the punya justification lah. So just write your justification.